Alright, what I got here is my second tachometer, 16,000 RPM. Uh, I purchased this one in the United States for about just under $12. Um, I do not sell these, but um, I can give you a link if you have problems trying to find one of these. Uh, I noticed there's a lot of um, attention on YouTube with these, people asking questions. Most common question is the wiring. So I did find a wiring diagram right here. And um, this basically explains it. If you want to pause, take a look at that for a minute. And also go over it. The black and red wires are actually for the light, the night light, which actually doesn't work very well. I would not recommend using it at night. Of course, positive and negative. Uh, and then you've got these three wires, which is the tachometer. Green is actually ground. A lot of people think that's the positive wire. Green is ground. Black is positive to the battery, of course. And you've got your signal. You could hook it up either. First, you'd want to try it on the low side of the ignition coil, and that's usually where you hook up your connector for an on-off switch. Um, and then you could also, if that doesn't work, try to hook it directly to the spark plug wire, um, to the spark plug boot. Uh, the other thing I found that works for me is taking the ground wire, making sure that it's grounded to the tachometer, which is also grounded to the bracket, which is fine, and then making sure that this is of course grounded to the battery and the engine and that's usually what solves the problem um, so here's another look if you want to check it out it's nicely made it's it does come in a metal casing uh, very sturdy um, it's been working great for me and uh, the nightlight uh, uses a dashboard bulb. Uh, I think it's called a T10. And so you might have other options if you are looking to improve that. That's a T10 socket for dashboard light. And uh, of course that's what it looks like. And it's uh, I've tested it on a two cycle engine single cylinder um, <clears throat> with CDI ignition and it's working fine. Uh, I haven't tested it on any four cycle engines, which I'd like to do very soon. Thanks for watching.